Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the new Vertical Canvas plugin released by Atom for OBS 29. Let's get started. Alright, so I'm a few hours late to the game. I do have a full-time job, so bear with me. But I wanted to talk about the Vertical Canvas plugin for OBS today. Now, what this does is it adds a vertical canvas for like short form content, like TikToks, uh, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, so on and so forth. It has a secondary canvas for that inside of your OBS, making it a thousand times easier for you to create effective short form content. Super easy. No more needing to pay a shorts editor or no more needing to take a thousand years to edit your shorts together. It works great. So let's talk about how to install that. First things first, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and head to atom.tv slash download slash vertical. Now, when you go there, you'll notice that it, your download will begin in, it'll start counting down, and then a window will pop up ba -ba, to your downloads, okay? And we're installing vertical canvas windows installer. Now, this is available for Windows and Mac. This tutorial is, however, for Windows. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and click save. And then we're gonna come down here and we're going to click our download. And then you're gonna have your program files, OBS Studio, download it to wherever you wanna go. Okay, click next, click next, click install. And there you go, we're all done. So click finish, close that out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna minimize our window here and we're gonna open up our OBS. And you'll immediately notice this does not look like your standard OBS because there's two canvases here. So you have your traditional 16 by nine wide content for like Twitch, YouTube, so on and so forth. But then you also have a nice nine by 16 canvas for that tall vertical short form content that we all know and love. Very cool. Now you'll also notice down here that you have a few other scenes and sources. So you have your scenes, you have your sources like normal OBS, but you also have vertical scenes and vertical sources. Now this is important because you can basically link the two sets together. Your normal scenes and your normal sources can learn, link to your vertical scenes and vertical sources. So when you change scenes inside of your normal scene, right? It'll also switch it in your vertical scenes. It's bonkers, it's way cool. I'll show you guys how it all works here right now. So first things first, we have our scene, we have our vertical scene. We'll go ahead and call this one, we'll rename it to uh, chatting. Okay, and then I like to rename mine to basically parentheses V, close parentheses, see here, chatting. Just makes it a little shorter, a little more straightforward, nice and easy. Okay, so we'll click OK here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our sources, and we're gonna add a video capture device. We'll call this camera. Okay, we'll click OK. And then we'll choose, I'm gonna use my OBS virtual camera and then we'll click OK. And then you can see here that I have my camera here, but I don't have my camera yet in my vertical content. So we're gonna come down to vertical sources. We're gonna click plus. We're gonna click video capture device and you'll notice off to the side here, it opens up another little window. This shows you what sources you have from your regular canvas that can also come over to your vertical canvas. So we're gonna click camera there and you'll notice it's over here now. And then we can go ahead and just resize accordingly. And then I would suggest right click, transform, center horizontally. And here we are. We now have vertical content, guys. How cool is that? Look at that. It's it's so easy. It's so, so easy. Now, the uh, now let's say you wanna ha add another scene, right? So you wanted a, a game scene or a, or a desktop scene, right? So what we can do is we're gonna come over to our scenes here. We're gonna click plus here. We're gonna call this one display, okay? So we have display setting here. Now we'll come down here and we'll call this V display. Click okay, now we have our vertical display. And we need to start adding our sources to this as well. So you'll click plus add source. We're gonna first off add her, add, add her. We're gonna add our camera because we want our camera on that scene. And then you'll click plus here on vertical sources, video capture device, camera, just like we did with the other one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our display. So we're gonna click display, display capture here. So display capture, click okay. That looks fantastic. 
go ahead and just uh, we'll move our camera in front and make it small so that you can see this looks like a pretty classic uh, stream right here camera down on the bottom gameplay or display capture up here right and then what we got to do is we got to come down to our vertical sources and we're gonna add our display capture here so we're gonna come here come to display capture choose our display capture and then you'll notice it's over here as well now let's go ahead and organize this. So this window is normally 1920 by 1080p. Our canvas, however, is 1080 by 1920p. So it's taller than it is long, right? So what we wanna do is make sure that we have plenty of space for our display, I guess, right? You gotta under understanding that the taller it is, the less field of view you're gonna have. So it's not gonna be as, as wide, if that makes sense. Keep that in mind but also the taller it is, the better they are gonna be able to see what is in view. Now there is a way, if you saw my last video, I'll leave a link down in the description, put a card right here, okay? <laughs> um, there is a way to get my the track and zoom OBS script to work inside of your vertical canvas. Uh, so if you're interested in that, let me know down below, I'll show you how that works. Um, but it, for now, we'll just keep our, keep our canvas relatively normal here, right? We'll just throw it there in the middle and then we will transform, center horizontally, perfect. And here now, now you see we have a great little canvas here. It's awesome. Uh, there's got my camera, we got this. Uh, you can add other sources as well. So like, for example, if you want to add, uh, let's just call this shout out, shout out, click okay. Right, let's say we want a shout out right here, right? This is a totally legitimate shout out. Do the same thing. Go to tech GDI source, shout out. And then it's over here in our vertical canvas right here. Very cool, we can resize it and we can put it right here, okay? Now the cool thing is, is when you have your scene set up, okay? You can come down here back to your scenes, okay? right click on your scenes and then you can go to linked scenes and you'll see that you have your normal scenes here in this list and you can click chatting we right click vertical chatting and linked it to chatting and we're going to right click vertical display and link it to display so now if i change over to my chatting scene you'll notice the vertical canvas also changed and when i change over to display you'll notice that my vertical changes to display as well. Therefore, basically, making a super seamless transition, uh, you can basically do all of your edits live inside of OBS. On top of that, there are some settings specifically inside of this window, this dock, right? So let's talk a little bit about those. So first off, there's these three buttons here. Let me tell you what these are. So first off, you have stream. That's right, stream. You can stream vertically. You can stream to TikTok, you can stream to Instagram Live, you can stream to anything, any vertical live streaming platform, so long as you have a stream key. I'll show you how to set that up in a second. You can also record vertical if you just wanna record a vertical video to just upload to TikTok or YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels or whatever you want. They also have what's called backtrack. Now backtrack, if you're familiar with replay buffer, that's basically what it is. It basically saves in your RAM. I'm gonna get really technical here. It saves in your RAM the last however many seconds you tell it so that when you press a button, it will go back that many seconds and create a clip and put it where you say. Now to configure all of this, we're gonna come over to this little settings cog right here, okay? So click vertical settings, and then you'll see that we have all of our settings here. So we have a resolution. So normally this will be 1920 by 1080, but for vertical content, 1080 by 1920. We have our video bitrate, play with this, and then you have backtrack recording length. Now you're gonna wanna click this, backtrack runs while streaming slash recording. Click that and then set this to however long you want. I find that three minutes is usually pretty good for me. So 180 seconds, I know people who go as far as five minutes. So just whatever's clean and convenient for you, that that's what you wanna do. You can also set your backtrack recording path and your backtrack hotkey. So all you have to do is hit your hotkey combination and you're good to go. Now you can do that with, um, a stream deck as well so you can set up a, a stream deck hotkey as well to do your backtracks 
recordings. Now, here you have your streaming settings as well. You can choose your server. They have a few servers right here. Uh, a lot of them are just RTMP YouTube servers, but then you have your stream keys here. All right, and then you can start your stream, start a stream hotkey, right? You can press a hotkey on your stream deck or press a hotkey combination to start and stop your stream. Then recording, same thing. Set your recording path, start your recording hotkey, stop your recording hotkey. Super simple, super straightforward, really easy to maneuver. It's hats off to Atom for releasing and producing such a clean, super easy to use tool. Like this is very finished, very well done. Um, and makes everybody's job about a thousand times easier to create effective content. Well, let me rephrase that. Effectively create content. <laughs> Creating effective content is still up to you. But guys, uh, I think that's it. I, that's really all there is to know about this vertical canvas plugin. It's super simple, super straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. You can also join our discord server at the link below. Uh, I'll have, I'll be in there and I'll be chatting, uh, answering questions, comments, concerns. Um, also, if you found this tutorial, uh, educational, uh, enlightening, uh, or anything, <laughs> Uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing and ring the bell for notifications on future OBS tutorials and content creating uh, uh, tips and tricks and come check out my Twitch stream. Uh, I stream about, uh, I try to stream every Monday. Uh, it's a little, a little unpredictable here recently. I've had a lot of stuff coming up with work, but uh, you do get notifications if you join the Discord and if you follow me on Twitch, you'll also get notifications. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the video uh, and I wish you guys a good rest of your night. Uh, goodbye.